Let's break down the one and only Grant Horvat and his driver swing. I just did a breakdown of Garrett Clark. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go check out my channel and consider hitting that subscribe. It really helps me out. If you're new here and you have never seen one of my breakdowns, we're going to go through two views. We're going to do down the line, which is this view, and then we're going to do a face-on view as well. So I always start out, I draw a plane line, which is the shaft angle of his driver, and I draw a circle around his head. Let's get right into this one. Let's start with the back swing. You can see here, he takes it pretty much straight back. A little bit different than Garrett, where Garrett would take it a little bit outside. He takes it pretty much straight back. Nice little V here with his arms, which is perfect. He's extending that driver head back towards the camera as far as he can, trying to get as much length as possible in this backswing. You can see in this position that his driver face is pretty much right where it should be, matching his spine angle here. Continuing on, as we get to the top, you can see that that left arm stays straight throughout the entire swing, which is perfect. Left wrist as well, staying very straight. Um, one thing I do want you to notice here is as we get to the top, his club face here at the top is slightly closed. He's supposed to be lined up with this wrist, and you can see compared to that line, he's more here, which is fine. Another thing I want you to notice here is Grant keeps this back leg pretty bent the entire time. A lot of people will straighten that back leg uh, and get all that weight back there, but he doesn't straighten it too much, stays pretty bent, but you can see obviously this front leg, very bent, doesn't have a lot of weight on it. Big shoulder turn. Now, as we start into the downswing, you can see his first move. He tucks that right elbow right into his hip area here. You can see this elbow is gonna come right down into his hip as he's coming through, drops that club down perfectly right on line. You can see his plane line and the shaft line now are very much parallel. You can also see that he's already coming off this right foot. He's starting to transfer his weight back to the front leg as he turns those hips open. Now he's not turning his hips near as much as Garrett does, but you'll also see that he does something that uh, you'll see a lot of like long drivers do, but watch his left foot over here as he comes through impact it actually slides backwards and that's to help open those hips up as he gets to the impact position now at this impact position you can see his head hasn't moved much uh, it may be dropped just slightly but you can definitely tell look at his shoulder angle as he hits the ball here Definitely got that left up. He wants to swing up on the golf ball. That front leg, you can't see it too much here, but it is very straight at impact. And then as we get into the follow through, again, low and left, that shaft is coming through that left arm there. And then a very balanced follow through. As you can see, he's wearing his Goat Lane Grant Horvat Edition golf shoes. Great swing. Let's move on to the face-on view. Now with this face-on view, this is a little bit of an older clip because they doesn't have he doesn't have a ton of uh, face-on views on his social media, um, but not much has changed. Um, one thing I want you to notice is he's got his head already pretty far behind the golf ball here, just at a dress. Again, that nice V with his arms. He does have a pretty strong grip on his left hand. Uh, his right hand is about neutral, but his left hand, his gloved hand there, is turned over quite a bit where you can see, you know, one, two, maybe even three knuckles on that left hand. Um, and that typically will help you close the club face at impact. Nice wide stance here. I'm going to draw some lines on his legs here to show. He has absolutely zero sway in the back swing. As we move back, look, he just right around that back leg. You can see again, left arm, extremely straight all the way through the swing. One thing I want you to notice here is before he even gets to the top of his back swing, his hip is already starting to go towards the target here. The club is still on its way back and his hip is already starting towards the target. Massive shoulder turn. Again, you can see here he's, 
he's pretty back to the target. Now, as we get into the downswing, you can see he definitely bumps that hip big time towards the target. It's actually going to go through this line here. Again, that elbow of his right arm right into that hip area. Left arm, again, still very straight. And then he's actually going to move his head even farther back and drop it just a little bit as he comes through the impact zone. Here's that head that's even farther behind the golf ball than it was at address. And then right as he gets the impact zone, again, his foot kind of hops out of the way and hops backwards. That helps clear those hips. Head stays down through impact and very balanced and just pivots right around this leg as he gets through impact. Beautiful swing. One of the best, if not the best, in all of YouTube golf. Very silky smooth. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like for me. Be sure to consider subscribing as well. Go check out some of my course vlogs. I'm not just breaking down swings. I actually can play the game a little bit. I am a scratch golfer. Uh, you might enjoy some of my course vlogs.